Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my podcast. I'm Will Caminada, the multidimensional guide, and I'm here to help you awaken, heal, and expand your consciousness. Today, I am making a video out here in the park, a different environment. Hopefully, sound will be okay for you. But I want to talk about being a star seed. So you'll hear the dogs every now and then and cars. So hope you don't mind that. It's nice to feel you know, a little bit of the sun and the nature around me. And I'm sending you this nature energy wherever you are. I wanted to talk about star seeds because I have been mentioning this term or this word a lot. And um, I've been getting quite a few messages of people telling me, um, I'm not sure I am a star seed, but I really resonate with your content. Um, or I'm not sure I'm a starseed, but I'm here in your community, the starseed grid. And I just wanted to talk about a few signs that show you that you are a starseed. And the first thing actually is you don't really have to know if you are a starseed or not. If you resonate with the content, whoever is creating the content, if you create re resonate in your heart with a channeled message if you feel in your heart that you're remembering who you truly are in your essence that's enough okay the rest is just labels and terms that help you navigate yes you know labels are a 3d thing but they really help us to navigate this human experience that's what the pleiadians um, said in a channel of message recently that labels are pointers that will direct you to more openness and more expansion in your consciousness because labels aren't necessarily a black or white thing it's there are many facets to labels so starseed is a label but it can really help you to understand more about your journey about yourself and help you in your healing journey in your in your journey of expansion of consciousness so that's number one number two is also something that the pleiadians have shared once which is we are all star seeds in one way because the star beings have um seeded humanity they have seeded they have helped they have shared their dna into our dna so looking from that perspective we are all star seeds in that sense that star beings have seeded humanity and so we do have star dna in our dna we tend to see um them as beings humanoids that look like us but it's actually the other way around it's like we look like them that's it that's one one way to look at it the other way to look at it which is more commonly known is that um, a star seed is a soul that at a soul level has chosen to be here incarnate here in this time and space to help in this ascension journey however we have to be really careful because if you first of all if you're thinking that you're a star seed and you came here to save the world that's ego the world doesn't need saving planet earth is a being on her own of her own and we are here just to just like cells of this being to help her and number two if you're feeling this way that's a lot of pressure it's like carrying the whole world on your shoulders or your or back it's just a lot of pressure to put on yourself and i and i say this with compassion because i feel this way sometimes and um if it, it feel it might feel very overwhelming um and we have to remember that we are one and we are one meaning we are unique beings unique souls in the whole um, the analogy that's coming up for me is the the drop in the ocean we are a unique drop in the ocean but we are the whole ocean right 
we're not separate um, and so if you're feeling this way if you've ever felt this way as a star seed or as an empath or as a light worker or even just as a human being just relax take a deep breath now and let that weight go okay you are here to be just to be that's the main mission of a star seed to be here to be the light and to be the love to anchor the birds agree to be the to anchor light and to embody love that's why star seeds are here so just going back to that soul's journey um, a star seed in the sense that most people refer to is a soul that has chosen to come here at this time because mother earth was going to be ready to heal to ascend and to receive light and return to her original state of 5d of being a 5d planet which basically means to be part of the universe to be part of the galactic federation right because for thousands and thousands of years planet earth was in a kind of a lockdown meaning it if it was a planet that was alone it, it got disconnected from all the universe without without it being disconnected but her consciousness became disconnected and that was part of a plan part of a plan to to help um, humanity to help planet because mother earth or planet earth was an experiment to become um, the library of the the universe that's a talk for another podcast <laughs> um, another video but the soul that has chosen to come here to help in this ascension they are considered star seeds because they've volunteered and so a lot of people use the term chosen one and the Pleiadians have also said that this is a little misleading because it it implies that you were not you didn't have your free will right and we do have free will as a soul as a human this universe is a free will zone so at some level you've you've chosen you've said okay I'm gonna go and I'm gonna help and why why you why why they asked you right and and by they I mean your higher self the Galactic Federation um, higher dimensional beings because you had this uh, potential to come here and remember who you are you would go through the veil of forgetfulness forget who you are in your essence but you came here to remember who you are and by being here you would anchor the light and the love and that is what 5d is that's what 5d consciousness is to be the light and to be the love so i hope that's clear and the other thing too is that your soul as a star seed has originated from the stars the star systems the star clusters and other dimensions other planets so either you have um, never really incarnated here on earth or you have incarnated here many times but most of your soul's journey most of your lifetimes as you know as a, as a soul was um, was not here was in other star systems and so that's why you feel a connection with the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, the, the Lyrans, the Andromedas and so many other races and the other thing that um, sometimes we get confused I, I used to be confused about is you know is my soul a Pleiadian soul and I've learned that just like here you might have had different lifetimes at different eras in different countries different continents the same goes for your soul your soul might have had lives 
lifetimes in the Pleiadians and Lyran and what makes um, a, con a connection is that perhaps oh there's a lizard there's a lizard right there can you see hi Lizzie so that's because <laughs> it's actually looking at me I don't know if you can see it it's gone bye that is because I forgot to mention the reptilians reptilians are also um, star race <laughs> you might have had different lifetimes in different star systems and you might feel a connection with one say the Pleiadians because you've had a you've had many lifetimes there or which is my case your higher self is there meaning your soul has originated from that um, star system okay and I guess that's all I would like to sh talk more about the struggles and and and, and the signs slash struggles that um, a star seed human um, goes through so if you're interested in learning more let me know in the comments too and I'll make another video talking more specifically about these signs and the struggles um, so that you can um, just know how to handle um, being a star seed in this time and space which can be amazing but it can also be very challenging which is the duality of this um, lifetime at this time and space so thank you so much for watching this video and i just want to finish by letting you know that if you're resonating with this message even if you're not sure if you are a star seed but if this message is resonating with you i really want to bring um, t together a community of star seeds because I know how lonely it can be and how challenging it can be in the sense that a lot of people don't understand what you're feeling what you're thinking you might want to talk about these things but you don't have anybody to talk to so this is why I created the community the star seed grid every month we m meet twice the first live event is a healing activation with breath work, with meditation, with sound healing. And the second event is a channeling event with the Pleiadians and it's very high, um, high frequency. You can feel the energy it can be very healing and very, yeah, very powerful too. So you can join by going to patreon.com forward slash the starseed grid. I'll put the link here and in the description as well. There are different tiers that you can choose from and you'll get the same things in any tier that you choose from um, except the higher the highest tier which you will get um, a, a channeled message individual channeled message from the Pleiadians um, every month and I would love you to join I would love to welcome you there and the group as well send you lots of love and I'll see you very soon bye